Hello, my name is Jacob, and I am a Norse pagan. And today I'm gonna to do a vlog style video, in a way. It's been a long time since I did anything like this. When I started The Wisdom of Odin, I intended on it being this spiritual vlog of my journey through Norse paganism. And while it's maintained that for a while, it's definitely turned into a little bit more as the gatherings have picked up, um, as I have learned more and I wanna share that knowledge. But at the end of the day, the core of The Wisdom of Odin is still my spiritual journey. And the, re and the other reason it's been a while since I made one of these videos is because not much has happened. And that's kind of the subject of this video because the last month or so, I think it was beginning of November, I um, got an infection that you know wasn't too severe, but it was persistent. And I've been on antibiotics for that entire time. And it's ranged from you know side effects in the sense that I basically need to stay in the house. I can't go out too much. Uh, which is a common thing nowadays, but at the same time, it was, you know, out of my control, where it was something that was like, I'm being asked by my doctors to stay in the house and all this stuff, um, you know, mostly just so I can get better. And now we're still a month in and I'm still not better. I still have to go back to the doctor. Um, so hopefully it gets fixed soon, but this is not a sympathy video. By no means am I asking for sympathy. What I'm going to talk about is the fact for the last month, since this has been the thing on my mind, since I've been thinking about this infection and I've been thinking about, you know, getting better, but also just being tired of it, I haven't really spiritually grown in that time. You know, I haven't done much in the way of the gods. I haven't done much in the way of the faith. And this is something that happens to a lot of us. Not, you know, it's not just infections, it's life, it's money issues, it's job issues, it's, you know, family issues. There's a lot of things that get in our way of the faith. And so I wanted to make this video to show how I've been handling in that and the things I've come to understand from my month of feeling disconnected from the gods and why I don't think that's necessarily a bad thing. So I'm also filming during the first snow in Kentucky. As you can see, it's not a lot, but sometimes this is all we get. It's really not that great here as far as snow. When I first moved here, I remember we got probably six or seven inches the first year I moved here, you know, eight years ago. And, you know, since then, it's just been stuff like this. Uh, but I'm going to come to this little stream over here that I've been kind of coming to. This is uh, not too far from my house. And so that's kind of the step, the first thing I've learned uh, while being ill, or at least while being kind of stuck in my home and stuck, you know, in this rut is getting into nature as much as possible still. Now, while I like to hike and I'm really upset that like my energy to hike has definitely dropped down, I'm not ready to climb mountains by any means, but I need this in some way. I mean, the road's right there. It's really not that secluded, but still it's something. And so I've been coming to this spot quite a bit um, because I can drive here really quick or if I'm feeling up to it, I can walk here. And it's just enough. So even when you don't feel connected to the gods and connected to this faith, I think it's really important to make sure you're still getting a healthy amount of nature in your life, um, you know, and enjoying it. You know, I woke up this morning feeling energized. Yes, I still have the ailment in a sense, like it's still there, but I'm happy because I'm outside in nature. I woke up, saw snow outside my window and I got out of bed right away. I didn't stay in bed like I normally do. And I got outside. So I've definitely learned to really cherish the moments outside. Um, I've probably been here or the other park near my house at least once or twice a week just to get just to get something. I think it's really easy to fall into a rut when we get sick or when life gets in the way. But somehow beating this regiment of nature into your life is really going to help you quite a lot. So I was busy talking and I got completely lost. And the path I normally take to get near the creek is uh, actually covered in snow right now. So we're actually already here at the stream. Um, it's quite high, all the uh, snow is melting, so I actually can't get into it, whereas normally I can. Um, so let's see, let me get you set up here so I can continue to talk to you. There we go. Oh no, there we go, I think we're good. So things I've also learned from this, so as far as like rituals and any offerings to the gods and things like that. I, I've given, given a couple just because I've been in my house. I've wanted to feel that connection. So I'm like, oh, let me give it to the gods. And let me tell you, it is really hard. When you are ill or on medication, it can be really hard to feel the gods. And obviously this is not, it's not something too severe. It's just something that's very constant. And so there's people out there with much more serious ailments than what I'm going through. And so I have I read messages from them before that it is really hard to connect to the gods, especially when you're on heavy medication. And so, and it's just hard to feel the response. And I think, 
the thing to remember is that the gods won't, you know, just because you're not feeling a response doesn't mean the gods didn't, you know, feel the offering. And I think it means a lot when you're sick, when you're ill, and you actually sit down and have a moment for the gods when you really should be focusing on yourself and your own body. Now, you don't want to get crazy with it. You know, I'm not going to try to climb a mountain and give an offering at the top of the mountain for my health. Um, but, you know, taking a moment to sit down at my altar and just talk to the gods and, you know, give a small offering. And I felt like this was really meaningful. So, like, I can't drink alcohol right now because obviously I'm on antibiotics. Which, let me tell you, a month without coffee and uh, alcohol has been awful. Um, but I think it meant a lot more when I went to the store, bought some meat, and gave it to an offering. Gave, gave it as an offering. Because I can't even drink it. So I think it, it's just sitting there looking at me now. And so it, I think it means a lot more when you're actually taking a little bit of time. It doesn't need to be extravagant um, to give to the gods. Um, and I think it just maintains that connection. It doesn't necessarily need to give you this big spiritual moment. But it, again, it's those small things. It's the nature. It's the, you know, the small rituals. Oh, there it goes again. It's the small rituals that make you feel a little bit better and a little bit more connected, even when you're not having those big extravagant moments. I don't know how I believe in healing magic. I mean, I know a lot of people in this faith practice it, but I just, I'm not sure. I haven't been, I haven't experienced enough to be convinced of it's, you know, if it working and that could be wrong. That's just my witnessing this. But what I try to reflect on, instead of sitting down and having a healing spell for myself or, or, or others, you know, I try to reflect on, okay, what can I learn from this? You know, I've had a month in the house. I've had, you know, a month of, you know, discomfort and could I have prevented this? What is my lesson to be taught from this? Because we're all going to get ill. We're all going to get sick, especially more and more as we get older. And so what can we learn from these moments? And what I've chosen to take from this is that I need to take better care of myself. Um, because it's like, well, while I might not have been able to prevent this infection, I might have, you know, I can prevent things in the future. And so I've not always had the best diet. And while I've maintained a very hiking lifestyle, you know, as far as like my only exercise for the most part is hiking. You know, and now that I don't have that and it's becoming very apparent that I need something, I've definitely become more conscious of my nutrition and also going to the doctor and having them like, so what, what's your diet look like? And I'm like, uh, I cook sometimes. And they're like, it's a lot of high sodium and butter, isn't it? And I'm like, yeah, it's a lot of high sodium and butter. And you know, so I've completely switched my diet out. And that's, you know, it's been about a month now and I've switched to more a natural diet. You know, it's not vegetarian or vegan by any means. Um, and just being more conscious of the nutrients I'm bringing in. And this is by no means going to turn into a health vlog at all. And not only, and that's, you know, I actually talked about this on the podcast that came out earlier this week, is as far as nutrients, it doesn't necessarily need to be something that is completely removed from spirituality. To me, you know, you know back in the day, the nature was our medicine. And I think that's where medicine mostly starts. And the world has a lot of answers to what we need. And so I've become a lot more conscious of that. And that has actually helped me connect. You know, we're, you know, going to nature. Well, yes, I'm not saying you should never go to a doctor. You know, it's definitely, you know, a fine line. And, but at the same time, I feel better that I'm going for, you know, I'm getting the antibiotics from the doctor, but I'm also eating a lot more things that are better for me. I don't know. It's made me feel more connected to nature, even though I've been stuck in my house. And so I definitely think when you're ill and, you know, while it's not necessarily going to cure you, it can make you feel a lot better. Um, so, yeah, I don't know. You know, I don't necessarily believe in healing magic as a spell, but I believe the healing magic of the earth now. Like, I definitely believe in it. You know, I'm eating foods now that make me feel better. Like, you know, thinking I could eat a gigantic juicy cheeseburger, like that makes my soul happy, but it's not going to necessarily make my body happy. And so, you know, eating things that make my body happy has become, a, you know, a very nice thing. Um, ooh, there's a, a really cool spot here. Let me go up and let me go up and show you. Yeah. I remember the first time I saw this and I'm like, wow, look how pretty it is. There's even a little waterfall right there. Oh, psych. It's a storm pipe. But still, if you look right there and you cut out the storm pipe, it looks pretty cool. Um, but yeah, the fact that you get like a little rapids here during the, you know, the heavier uh, weather is actually really nice. And once again, coming out to something like this, even when you're not feeling great, and it's, you know, I'm not going to say it's going to give you the biggest religious experience of your life, but it's the small things every single day that are going to help you get through those moments in life, whether it be ailment, whether it be, you know, financial difficulties, family difficulties, you know, you can't expect the gods to save you, but you can expect nature to help you. The gods, nature, the spirits, the ancestors, they all guide us and help us through these moments while they don't necessarily save us from these moments because we have to go through them. We're human beings. You know, we are going to go through 
for struggles all of our lives till the very bitter end. I think that's my lesson for this video. If I've learned anything on my spiritual journey, while I've not had those big religious experiences and while I've not necessarily felt connected to the gods, I have learned something in this moment in my life, this very strange period of my life. Um, it's also been the biggest moment of the Wisdom of Odin. The Wisdom of Odin has doubled in size in a month from 10,000 subscribers to 20,000 subscribers. And the whole time I'm like, yes, but also I'm like, I wish I felt better. <laughs> and so it's even been hard to kind of absorb those moments. But life isn't always going to be, you have to take the good and the bad. You know, I've definitely learned you have to take the good and the bad. I am forever thankful for what has happened with the Wisdom of Odin. Um, and by no means is this illness gonna put me down from that. But it's just very interesting that in life, I've had this great experience with YouTube and it's been blowing up. I'm so thankful, but also I'm going through this like weird time of like the longest ailment of my life. So life is weird. <laughs> We're not promised any kind of life, whether it be good, bad, horrible, great. We're not promised those things. We are, however, given guidance to help improve our own lives. We're all going to struggle, no matter where you started in life. But through adding these little rituals on the day to day, through going outside, through giving thanks when it's meant to give thanks, just accepting that gods aren't going to save you. The gods can help you. The ancestors can help you. Spirits of nature can help you, but ultimately, they're never going to give you a perfect life. Life isn't meant to be perfect, but we can take life by the horns and we can learn from every experience that we have. And I wouldn't have realized that and I wouldn't have learned this if it wasn't for the path I'm on now with the Norse gods. And so as I walk to my car in the very wet and cold rain, I hope this has helped you. I hope something in my, learn my lessons and my life has helped you because I think this is something we're all going to go through. We're all gonna feel disconnected from the gods from time to time. Life is going to get in the way. We are the ones that have to determine if it's going to stay in the way. And I'm not gonna let life stay in the way. So I'm gonna get outside, I'm gonna celebrate my gods, and I'm gonna hail the folk. So folk, until the hall. <laughs>